we're all going to be complicit in that. We're all going to have to be responsible for that. And for how to talk to somebody, and basically how to tell somebody they're sucking, <laughs> right? And like, we can just say you suck. You went for one year? Did you go for four years or what? I went for five years. <laughs> I got was, it, was, it, was it hard? The reality is you have to give them a sense of self-esteem because you're not going to be with them when they have to make a lot of these decisions. I don't know how they do it, but they figured out how to splice things and change things. And Welcome to today's podcast, where we're diving straight into a rather sensational topic surrounding Matt Damon and his alleged involvement with Hollywood elites. I'm Laura, and joining me is Cindy. Thanks, Laura. This is indeed a topic that has sparked a lot of discussion recently, especially after Joe Rogan shed some light on the secrets within Hollywood. Absolutely, Cindy. So let's start with the shocking revelations made by Joe Rogan. He hinted that famous actors like Matt Damon might have taken unusual paths to achieve. What can you tell us about that? Well, Laura, Joe Rogan delved into some disturbing truths about Harvey Weinstein and the exploitative culture within the entertainment industry. One of the most chilling aspects was how Weinstein operated, as highlighted by comedian Whitney Cummings. Right, Cindy. Weinstein seemed to offer aspiring actors promising opportunities, but with a horrifying catch. He expected them to comply with his requests in exchange for the chance to become movie stars. Joe Rogan described it as a disturbing give and take scenario where Weinstein would shower these actors with attention and special treatment to maintain control, but it came at a high cost, often leading to manipulation and exploitation. That's truly disturbing, Cindy. And it's even more heartbreaking that some actors may have tried to befriend Weinstein, thinking it would help their careers. One of the prominent actors benefiting from Weinstein's support is Matt Damon. That's right, Laura. Matt Damon owes a significant part of his Hollywood success to Harvey Weinstein, particularly through their collaboration on Goodwill Hunting. This raises questions about the nature of their relationship beyond the professional realm. And there's a revealing statement from Damon himself where he expressed reservations about Weinstein marrying someone close to him. It suggests a more complicated exchange between ambition and personal compromise. Indeed, Laura, this perspective challenges our understanding of power dynamics in the industry and raises uncomfortable questions about the choices made by those who benefited from Weinstein's support. And it's not just Matt Damon. Even George Clooney acknowledged their awareness of Weinstein's behavior but they claimed ignorance about the extent of the allegations. How does this fit into the larger culture of silence in Hollywood? Laura, this is where it gets even more troubling. Damon admitted he knew about Gwyneth Paltrow's disturbing encounter with Weinstein but never discussed it with her. Instead, he learned about it from Ben Affleck, another actor closely tied to Weinstein. That's a crucial point, Cindy. It highlights the culture of silence in Hollywood where powerful figures like Weinstein could manipulate those around them. It raises questions about complicity and silence. And there are even allegations that Damon may have played a role in covering up Weinstein's misconduct. Sharon Waxman, the founder of The Rap, claimed that high-profile individuals, including Damon, pressured the New York Times to back down from a story about Weinstein's misconduct. This truly sheds light on the complexity of relationships and power dynamics within Hollywood. It's a sobering reminder of the dark underbelly of the entertainment industry. Absolutely, Laura. So while we're left with many questions, it's essential to keep the conversation going and hold those responsible accountable. Thank you for joining us on this discussion. Until next time, goodbye, everyone.